everyone, it's Robert. So today I'm going to show you how to win every single attack round in Valorant, or at least every single post plant situation. I wanted to make this video because honestly, I'm tired of not seeing it in my own games. And I also didn't really see a lot of other videos talking about this concept that wasn't like 10 to 15 minutes long. And it's so, so, so effective. So if you're watching this, hopefully you get some value out of this video. So to win every single post plant situation, or almost every single attack round if you can get the bomb down, you have to do this thing called playing for time. When people start playing Valorant, especially on attack, the concept of time just doesn't exist. It just, they're, it's just not a thing. So when you get the bomb down, the enemy team has a certain amount of time to defuse it or else they lose the round. You're forcing the enemy team's hand. So I'm gonna show you guys a clip on how exactly to play time. One example of playing time in one of my games from one of my live streams. So let's watch this clip here. Last one alive, the bomb is down. I kill Omen. I know Rain is alive and she doesn't have that much time left to work with to defuse the bomb. I hear a stick hit once, walk up, and I start making footstep noises. The first tap is always fake. Remember that. A majority of the time, the first tap is always fake, especially if you make sounds that you're coming towards them. I guarantee you 99% of the time, if somebody is starting to defuse the bomb and you make noise moving towards them, they will hop off of it. I promise you. So I make noise that I'm moving towards Reyna to let her know that I'm coming. She doesn't really have a choice but to hop off the bomb, otherwise she dies. She hops off the bomb. I saw her hop off the bomb for like half a second there. So now I know that I have her pinned, right? Now, literally, all I have to do is stay alive and we win the round no matter what. She sticks it again. I peek, make sure she's not on it again because again, she knows I'm here. So she's hopping off it. Now she's trying to bait me, but it's not working because I'm playing time. She sticks it again. I peek, shoot once, make sure she's still not, not on it because I'm playing time and I'm not pushing her. I'm just staying alive because again, we will win the round and this is pistol round as well. So now we'll probably win the next one as well. This is two rounds for my team that we're going to win because I'm playing time. This is how important this is. And now she has no choice but to stick it pretty much because otherwise they're going to lose the round. So now we win no matter what. So I jump, shoot her like once or twice. And she just has no choice and I kill her. So good, I know it's a really simple concept and you're probably watching this video like I already knew that, but you're not applying it in your games. Especially if you're playing like Brimstone or... Uh, viper or killjoy especially killjoy just stall when the bomb is down you don't need to frag out you don't need to get kills just play for time and you will win so many more attack rounds i promise you drop a like if you enjoyed the video share it with a friend who also needs to learn the concept of playing time and i'll see you guys in my next video